So today I want to talk about one of the maybe most important uh, stories in technology over the, the last year, and yet one of the lesser knowns, which is open data and the opening of government data. Um, lots of things have happened in 2010. Uh, especially over the last, since uh, 2009, the US has started opening uh, data online, the UK, uh, France has announced uh, it would put some uh, uh, national data online, even uh, Paris, uh, right here, announced that at the uh, beginning of next year they would have uh, this open uh, government API. And uh, I think this is something extremely important, this trend that we're observing, because it's literally the first time a government is uh, opening APIs like uh, companies. It matters for developers, it matters for startups, but most of all, I think it matters for uh, democracy. And since we have an international audience here today, I went back to basics and uh, the work of uh, Alexis de Tocqueville, uh, this Frenchman who set sail to the US in 1830 to learn about uh, this new thing called democracy in the US. And uh, I came back with four lessons that I think we can apply to open data and I'd like to share with you today. The first lesson uh, of open data is that we need to explore this brand new continent. Just like the uh, US had to explore the frontier in the 19th century uh, when Tocqueville visited it, today we have to explore this uh, potential of opening data and building applications around uh, public sources of information. Uh, I think we're still at the stage of 1830 in terms of uh, potential that lies upon us. This was uh, New Amsterdam that we just saw and uh, think of all the, the potential for development that happened from this stage to uh, modern cities which run application contests for urban data on uh, iPhones and things like this. There is a lot of things we can do, and interestingly enough, it's something that's available for everyone. It's not just about the iOS uh, toting crowd, it's also for uh, humanitarian applications such as uh, disaster relief um, uh, apps that we've, we've seen over 2010. I think the second really important lesson is the importance of the press. One of the things uh, Tocqueville talks about in his travel diaries is how when he went to these very remote villages, people would ask him first, what did the New York Times say uh, or the London Times? And I think we need data journalism to help bring the public to the data stores the same way the, the, the dailies in the 19th century brought readers to libraries. And examples such as this one, the uh, Where Does My Money Go chart by uh, the UK Open Knowledge Foundation is really important because it reminds us, us of why we live together in democracy. The solidarity that brings people together through the, the government budget. The third uh, lesson from Tocqueville's work that can apply to open data is the idea of tools to modernize government. I mean, this is what he set sail, this is why he set sail to the US, to learn about how to uh, improve government process uh, and take lessons from the US and I think open data is an incredibly powerful way to break information silos. Think of how much more efficiency we could have if um, all across governments people could really share information. And finally, last but not least, the fourth lesson is that we really need democracy to support progress. And think of it, in 1830, when Tocqueville visited the US, we were just at the beginning of this major rewiring of the world with all these network industries that came uh, aboard, the train, the telegraph, the telephone networks, the petroleum distribution networks, they really changed society drastically. And they needed democracy to uh, support progress. And I think in the 21st century, what open data is about is building these cognitive infrastructures, building these networks of ideas and knowledge that we can use to build applications, applications for citizens, for entrepreneurs, startups, for jobs, for growth, but also for participation. So what we need today around open data is some sort of a Tocqueville 2.0. It's this collaborative effort to uh, lead open data to become a, a source of progress in society. And I want to leave you with a quote from Tocqueville himself, who said that the most uh, difficult part in a novel as in a revolution is to invent the end. And we need you together to invent where open data is going to lead us. Thank you very much. Thank you.